Today's video is a super fun one with summer right around the corner as well as Cinco de Mayo this weekend. We thought we'd bring you two kind of Mexican inspired dishes. Both of these are so delicious. The first one is actually a low carb Mexican tortilla casserole. We're gonna actually have it for lunch right now. And then secondly, we're gonna make a Fiesta lime grilled chicken. It is absolutely perfect, the marinade for this chicken. Probably my favorite marinade we've ever made, so make sure you stick around for that one. Both of these are so good. Gonna have you ready for this weekend. All right, we're gonna start by sauteing. I have a little bit of green bell pepper here, as well as some chopped onion. We're gonna get that starting to brown up a little bit. So now we're just gonna add in one pound of ground beef. And we're just gonna continue to brown this up with those peppers and onions. So our ground beef is nice and browned up. Next, I'm just gonna add in about three ounces of softened cream cheese. I just kind of helped it along in the microwave a little bit, but it will continue to melt down in here. Just gonna give everything a stir to kind of combine that cream cheese into our ground beef and peppers and onions. Next, I'm just gonna add in one packet of taco seasoning. And we're also gonna add about half a cup of salsa. This is a new salsa. We may have bought it, but it's probably been a while if we ever have but it's the Mateo's or Matteo's Gourmet Salsa. It has super clean, just all natural ingredients in there. Thought it sounded and looked really good. We're just gonna add about half a cup. Just kinda eyeball it. Turn that down just a little bit. Start stirring that all together so we're not burning anything. Next, we're adding one third cup of heavy cream. This mixture already smells so good. You could probably even just use this as a dip as well, add some cheese. But the recipe also calls for rice cauliflower. You could add that in as well. But I don't have any, so we're just gonna leave it out. But also, if you're not wanting to make this recipe low carb, you could totally add in some regular rice as well. I would just cook it first. It is gonna go in the oven, but not for very long, so I would add cooked rice if you'd like to add the rice part. All right, we're just gonna let this come up to a simmer and simmer for just about five minutes. And the recipe also calls for some beef broth. I have mine over here on the side, but I'm not gonna add it in quite yet since I'm not adding in that rice cauliflower. I really don't want this mixture to become too liquidy. So we'll see how it is in just a couple minutes. All right, so our ground beef is all browned up and I'm glad I didn't add that beef broth. So if you're not gonna use the rice cauliflower, Maybe leave it out or just wait and see. We gotta throw some on the counter, like always. This is an eight by eight baking dish, so this doesn't make like a full size nine by 13. Next, it's time to layer in some cheese. So, I just have a mixture of some Cheddar Jack here, and I have a little bit left of my four cheese Mexican blend, so I'm just gonna kinda use a blend of all this. The recipe calls for three cups of cheese total. So of course, whatever kind of cheese you like. And the next layer is a tortilla. I really like these Mission Low Carb Tortillas. They seem to work really well in recipes and these hold up just like a regular tortilla. They taste like it too, in my opinion. So we're just gonna get our tortilla, place it right down, and you can cut an additional tortilla and fill in these little holes right here, but I'm really not worried about that. So it's time to start with our second layer. A little bit more cheese. And then for the final layer, we're gonna just end that with the cheese on top. All right, going in with our final layer of cheese on top. And I already have the oven preheated to 350. And this is just going in there for about 20 to 25 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna give y'all my little review today as voiceover, but this casserole was actually very good had lots of flavor in there with just a few simple ingredients. You can really see the tortilla layers come through and they still had a nice little bite to them, you know, after it was baked. So definitely give this recipe a try. This one is definitely one for everybody. All right, guys, so we are getting ready to make our Fiesta chicken rub. 
Um, it's actually going to be a mixture of all these items and we'll uh, give you some details in the description below. But we're gonna go with some salt and pepper, some light brown sugar, about a teaspoon. We're gonna go with some chili powder, some ground cumin, smoked paprika, garlic powder, and onion powder. We're also gonna combine in some uh, olive oil, this is actually avocado oil, a zest of one lime, a whole lime juice, which is about two tablespoons. And of course, um, we're gonna mix all this together. We're gonna go with um, one teaspoon of chili powder. Of course, I've already added in my brown sugar, as you saw that a few minutes ago. Then we are going to go into three quarters of a tablespoon, some salt. We're gonna go in with a half of a teaspoon of all this other stuff. Some ground cumin, garlic powder, of course, onion powder. We're gonna whisk all that together, and then we will place our chicken, um, our chicken breast, um, in this to marinate for about 30 minutes. All right, guys, so we have our boneless, skinless chicken breast. Um, we're gonna take these and cut them in half and we will then get them marinating. So let's get started. I'm just putting this in a gallon size freezer bag. Get all that goodness in there. Ready to get this in the refrigerator. And seal it up. Massage it a little bit so that way all of those spices and the oil and everything gets all over the chicken. Just a little bit better on that side. Let's stick this in the refrigerator. We're gonna stick this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes to an hour before we throw it on the grill and it will be absolutely amazing. All right, so for our salsa for this Fiesta Lime chicken, we're first gonna add two ripe chopped avocados. We have one cup of chopped Roma tomatoes. We're gonna do about one third cup of finely chopped red onion. That might be a little bit more than one third cup. We're gonna do about one and a half cups of sweet corn. This is one orange bell pepper one diced jalapeno. We have two tablespoons of lime juice. This is one fourth teaspoon of ground cumin and salt. I'm gonna sprinkle that in. We have some minced garlic. And lastly, some chopped cilantro. Now we're just gonna get all this deliciousness mixed up together. This also would make a really delicious dip with just some tortilla chips. All right, y'all, chicken is going on the grill. Hear that sizzle? All right, that chicken just came off the grill. Look how good it looks. I might have snuck a little bite. It is so flavorful and so juicy, but we're gonna make it even better. Let's get this avocado salsa on there. Right, we're trying the Fiesta chicken. Ready, go. I'm ready. Cheers. That's really good. That chicken is perfect. perfect. Delicious. Tender. Oh my gosh, that chicken has so much flavor, y'all. That marinade is amazing. If you can do it on charcoal grill, highly recommend that as well. And it's definitely got some good, a little bit of a kick to it, to the chili powder, but it's it's perfect. It really is. Very it's impressive. so good. On another bite. Summary, light, mm -hmm. but still lots of flavor. Oh, yeah. 
All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let us know down below how you liked cooking with Mr. Repeat today. We loved both of these recipes so much. I just know we're gonna be cooking these all summer long. Anything you need to say? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, y'all. We'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.